Well, the, the solar max panels, I mean, we were, we were skepti not skeptical at first, but we, we sort of had our bias from having had 14 years of using traditional glass rigid panels. They worked fine. We didn't have an issue with the space or anything like that, the weight in RV, we can handle that. So we were sort of reluctant to go with the solar max panels, the flexibles, because well, we just were not that familiar with them. But I, I have to say, after we installed them, I mean, literally, peel and stick is not a lie. Yeah. You peel, you stick, you're done. I would say, I would we, say that we actually said, oh, it would have been a lot easier if we had just done all solar max panels and just stayed off flex. Yeah, the, the word for the installation for the solar max panels is ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's easy. ridiculous. It's like you peel it and you stick it, and it took us 10 times longer, 20 times longer, just to decide where we were going to put them <laughs> than to put them down. Once we knew where we wanted them, Peel and stick. Yeah. Press them into place. And of course the wiring of course took some time as well. But we now have no holes in the roof where those went. And while we are not afraid to drill holes and screw things into our roof, we did that on our four Xantrex rigid panels. We don't want to drill holes unnecessarily. And we made a conscious decision to have a twin system with four panels flexible solar max panels in series and four rigid panels in series and we parallel them down the line and we've done that for many reasons we are interested and curious in new technology we want to see how the ability to tilt the rigid panels compares with the slightly higher output of the, the flexible panels we want to see how the whole thing works and we're going to do lots of testing between our two solar panel banks and that includes in the summer when they all stay flat, and in the winter when we can tilt our rigid, uh, rigid panels when we're facing the right direction, which is east for us. So, but I mean, uh, aside from just the simplicity of the installation, because again, no screws, no holes, no nothing. You basically just need a garbage can to throw the backing paper away. <laughs> um, just even the simplicity of getting them onto the roof. So the glass oh, panels, these the the. 160 watt panels are smaller than the panels that they were replacing that we had so they were lighter than what we took off the roof But they're still heavy and it does still take some effort to manhandle them onto the roof um, The solar max panels the flexibles. I Mean you can just pass them right up onto but, the roof. They're but, uh, easily uh, handleable by just about anybody it's also want to say though also want to say that they are not as light as I expected in a good way and I'll, I'll tell you why they're still very light but our experience in the solar panels we've seen before that are flexible, flexible, that everyone talks about flexible panels, are really flimsy. And it was our biggest concern about going with flexible panels. And when we actually saw a solar max panel in person, it was absolutely nothing like we expected. We thought it was just going to be, you know, a flimsy panel. And we thought it would be the kind of thing you could roll up, you know, like a tube of wrapping paper. And it's nothing like that. Flexible to 180 degrees is not flexible like like a sheet of paper or cardboard. It's nothing like that. It's actually, I think, calling them flexible panels is maybe even a little misleading in one way. Not not intentionally to try to deceive and misleading, but misleading to someone who might think they are just flimsy, flimsy lightweight, thin. They actually have robust. thickness and mass and a robust solid design of them that I didn't really expect. And it was a single thing about them that made us have no issue. And of course, the fact that the name we trust, the Xantrex name was on them, that was a big deal.